Farmer-led trials are really important, especially in the current age. Getting farmers involved in their own research so they understand what's involved in data collection, setting up trials, um, but also gets them feeling what the information will be like concerning their own trials, their own sites. My name's Ivan Grove. Um, I am the lead scientist at the IAF Field Trials Lab for this particular set of uh, trials. Farmer-led research, it's what the farmers want and it gives a practical field scale practice of what we're doing so we can understand it. I'm Andrew Webster from Wormscote, Lancashire, potato farmer. We're here today at Cainton House Farm looking at the trap crop trials and also the commercial scabron and sissin trap crop. So in this particular trial, so it's follow-on trials from previous years, um, so this year we're looking at the effect of um, nitrogen application on the establishment and grain cover production of Solanum scabrum and Solanum cisimbriofolium. So we laid them out in experiments. We have a standard three rep experiment here at Cainton and a six rep experiment over at Edgman. So the results basically are as you would expect with any nitrogen application on a crop where the more nitrogen you put on then the better grain cover you're likely to get. And that's what we've seen here. And there was significant statistical responses from both Stilarum cisimbriofolium and Stilarum scabrum in response to nitrogen. So at 50 kilograms of N per hectare or 100 kilograms per hectare, we actually saw that the uh, plants did grow better once they were established. Although not statistically uh, significant, and so we have to be very careful with influence on this sort of thing, um, that we've actually noticed that there's more plants established in the higher rates of nitrogen plots. If the conditions aren't good, then they become very difficult to establish. The key thing about, um, obviously, the, the tops of the plants, of the above ground biomass, is there is some definite evidence from many years ago um, in terms of cisimbriofolium. that if we had a specific amount of above ground biomass, that would equate to a significant amount of below ground biomass which is quite important for stimulating potato cyst nematode hatch because it's the root exudates that actually stimulate them. So the greater amount of roots that you have underground, the greater the potential for a, an increased hatch from both of these crops. The actual depth and the width of the roots, so the type of the root system, may have a significant impact on the ultimate um, decline rate of the nematodes at the end of the growing this particular crop. One thing to be aware of really is that the nitrogen we used was um, organic nitrogen and is, um, if you like, acceptable to organic growers, so it wasn't ammonium nitrate. So for us what we can say, I suppose the take home message from this is that um, the higher rates of nitrogen, 100 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare, um, we actually seen um, a substantial response both in the number of plants establishing and then obviously the grain cover that develops from that.